Hello, Internet. What's this? Is this Mass Effect? It, could this possibly be the game that we've been wanting to play now for a very long time? Yes, yes it is. And that sniffling is not me for once. It's my fellow psychopath. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay, so me, as you can see here, our name is Rolf Shepard. I could not make his hair blue. I'm sorry. But I gave him the bushiest eyebrows and the smallest lower face. And then our origin is a colonist, reputation is a war hero, class is soldier. And this is literally the exact same thing as um, the first Dragon Age game. <laughs> In this. I, I wouldn't know, I didn't play the very first Dragon Age game. But it had more options, but that's because you had more races, and all the different races had different uh, backstory options you could choose from. Mm -mm. Which was actually pretty neat. <clears throat> Combat level. I can't put it on sanity. What the hell? Squad level up. Uh, auto I level up. Put, put that off or up. put it on off. Target assist. High, normal, or low? Uh, probably low, knowing you. <laughs> Let's go in ass naked. Come yes. on, we can do it. Squad power usage active. Yeah, save. yeah, you're gonna want them to do that. Okay, subtitles, yes. Autosave, yes. Accept. <clears throat> now, what is this big hunk of mess? Mm. Oh, that's a mass relay station. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His Did you ever patch it to know if, uh... Yeah, that I could hear. I could not figure out how to do that without completely <laughs> rerouting everything. Oh god, those cheekbones. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Heaven forbid. <laughs> uh, so I'm just listening here to the voice of Goliath. Ambassador Udina? Yes. I am willing to bet my bottom dollar. That is him. <laughs> they called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it Mass Effect. I swear to God. Look at that swaggy look. <laughs> He's walking like, got that Super Saiyan swagger. Stop. But you just chose my Super Saiyan swag. <laughs> <laughs> what we need is a type of cheese. Cheddar. Cheddar Knights. Yes. <laughs> I will name our. If I had the chance to name our squad, I'm naming it the Cheddar Knights. Uh, you can. What is wrong with this game? They don't really get mentioned by name. They are the Chatter Knights. Shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> My okay, name is so Rolf. You're gonna want to use like uh, Tally and Garrus since you're a soldier. Just Garrus is a heals. sniper. Heals for days. Huh? Heals for days. What do you mean heals? Imagine Tally is heals. Do we just get shot out of a giant gun? No, it grabs you and then makes you be faster than light through like. It's a giant space. gun! Yeah, it, yeah, it's a mass re relay. It's a <laughs> oh, yeah, that's uh, that's Seth Green. Hold on, just. Let me, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. In order to be faster than light, we went to the circus. They shot you guys. <gasps> Kaiden! Oh, I have so many feels related to him because he, he's just, just, just <laughs> stuck. <laughs> this guy! <laughs> God, the cheekbones look like they're scratched in! He had a botched facial surgery. 
<laughs> he looks better now. <laughs> he looked worse before. Mini doors, Eddie boy. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. You're oh, reacting. Geez. Okay. Is it because there's scars on that side? Okay. That's why it looks. That's that's the biggest reason why it looks so fucking horrible. <laughs> Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a calm buoy and link us into the network. All these cutscenes move at like 144p. <laughs> For you. For me, yeah. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debrief. I can hear you, you know. <laughs> me? Yeah, I know you can hear me. I'm on my way. Damn it, there's only oh. one I wanted to click on. I wanted to click on I heard, because I figured that'd be a sarcastic as response. Just like you know I can hear you, right? No, the the sarcastic response is oh. usually the renegade option. Ah what is this? Can I shoot? Ah. It doesn't it literally does not let me talk. Okay. No, you gotta hit right. enter, okay. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Oh, combat? Presley! Oh that no, Presley! <laughs> Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down in engineering didn't mean you caught any trouble. <laughs> but you have to admit, something's out of That it. noise right there, that, that, oh, the, 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 that combination of words lets you know something, doesn't it? <laughs> what we're supposed to do yes. <laughs> Imagine, like, this entire Let's Play is gonna be you going, <laughs> And they're going, Andrew, what are you doing? Stare away. No, I gotta use this. You can use, you know, you can ask all of the questions. No, I know. This is standard Bioware. Okay, I'm just making sure you know, fam. Don't argue with me. Meanwhile, <laughs> in the background of everything, I can see a thumbnail for a video about a dog that was drowned in glue. What? Like, I'm actually paying attention to this. <laughs> I know, I am too. T the Turian Inspector. I don't like Turian. I love Turians. Runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Yeah, it was really hot. This is no ordinary Turian. It was like boiling lava hot. You got that right, Commander. We're an alliance vessel, human military, but Minus doesn't answer to the captain of the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the... Thank you for this exposition. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown rights. Well, you're asking him questions. Yes. But then he adds in more stuff. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces. This is a really quiet let's play. <laughs> you know what? This is a this is about the story and us screwing with it in every possible way. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Why are we paying attention to the story then? <laughs> hmm. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. He has such thin lips. So where do I gotta run to? This way, maybe? I can't remember the layout of the ship from the first game. Oh, damn it, I can't just, like, jump up and do shit. The the Nihilus! It's okay, you shouldn't really get too attached to Nihilus. Uh, I want to put a bullet in his head. No, you shouldn't get too attached to Nihilus. I mean, like, don't don't kill him, but don't get too attached to him. No, no, I want to kill him. Why? He's not human. Oh my god, you're gonna doing one of those playthroughs? <laughs> you're gonna have fun. <laughs> How much you know, fun? With your fucking entire alien crew. No. <laughs> the most interesting characters are the aliens. I'm gonna say that right now. Like the most boring two characters are like the two the two humans that you get in each game. That's because sci-fi has this weird obsession with making humans the vanilla race. Like, nah, we're just kind of bland. 
Yeah. No, I mean like their character, like they they're badass in combat all day long, but they're like their character arc and stuff like that. They end up like being space racists or shit like that. And I just find you know. That's why we needed this. A little bit of alien influence can go a long way because I really like Garrus, Tally, and Liara. This comes down from the top. You're gonna like Rex. You're really gonna like Rex, I feel. I feel like the Emperor of Mankind requires some Prometheum for this situation. What? <laughs> I thought the Protheans vanished. Prometheum is basically a, super napalm. There's not an Emperor of Mankind. <laughs> the Emperor of Mankind will always guide us. <laughs> there is an emperor of mankind. <laughs> it is Captain Anderson. He's the emperor in disguise. That's what it feels like throughout the game. He's like the only chill one. Ambassador Odin is an asshole the entire game. The entirety of the trilogy, let me put it that way. I hate Ambassador Odin. humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish. Unpredictable. Humans don't have the best reputation. Yeah, he Damn right. horrifying in this game. Like, the other races are scared of them. Oh, so... Oh humans yeah, this is like an really HFY story. <laughs> yeah, humans are like incredibly aggressive compared to the other races, because they're longer lived. The like, there's the Asari who are really long lived, and then, um... Mm. Fuck, I can't remember the, um... the other race, but Moradin's part of the race. And they only live, like, their, the top expectancy of their lifespan is, like, 40 years, so they die really fast. Okay, but, but they like, put in, like, long-enacting plans. But do you want to know why I f humans are the most aggressive? I'm going to tell you, it's got nothing to do with that. What? It's because we can barely handle each other. Now we're dealing with a completely new species. Well, I was going to say it's because we, we want to be the top. It's it's our ambition. Humans are born to be soldiers. Hmm. Uh... Ask him. You put my name forward. Why would a Turian want a human in his back? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential. In the potential. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. Hmm. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. My voice is very reverberating. Yeah, that's the Turians, they actually all sound like birds, they just use universal translators. Hold like on! Back up! Back up! Back up. <laughs> Why? They sound like birds. Yeah, they're they're they are like birds and they're Let's go back, let's go back and let's look at him. He doesn't have a beak. He has like a six-lipped mouth. Bird. He's like a bird in physiology. Dinosaurs were like birds. Do you see a beak on like 90% of dinosaurs? No. They have fucking teeth and jaws and shit. Only like the bird. theropods. What if I refuse? People making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. And I'm humanity. <laughs> it was both a cry and a sob. What do you know about the protest? Because you're like, I don't like this, and they're like, No, you don't have a choice, buddy. <laughs> Just like, oh. <laughs> It's like, I don't like people making choose about this was about humanity. I'm like, and I'm humanity. Everyone agrees. Galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Earth Citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. Didn't the humans in this thing like create the uh invent the galaxy the notion of the carrier? You mean carrier? Like a ship that holds more ships. I don't remember. You're gonna have to read through everything. Cause like, I remember that being a thing and that wanted me to get in the game. Cause it's like, it was a way to get around the loophole of saying how many dreadnoughts they could have in a battle. So they just made one giant ship that carried like a million dreadnoughts, and then they sent that out. Like here, 
No, they're not dreadnoughts. They're smaller ships that are carried on our carriers. And the rest of the galaxy they're going, What did we tell you? Make God those rules it, iron tight. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farm. Oh my God, but Andrew. It something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful companies. How long have we been recording? Like 20 some minutes? 15 minutes. 15? Okay. Yeah. At the end of this cutscene, I'm gonna get up for a second. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> I'll just get up for a second. Hmm, I'm gonna investigate more. Let's see what the beacon is. All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data camp. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons pack? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Perverse isn't the most stable sector of hmm. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. Can I join them? They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus system. The Attican Perverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war. <coughs> the last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. What's this? Some towel? Probably an hour. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Well, there's absolutely no reason to go. I mean, they're dead. This dude looks something like a bird. Don't see where Mia sees that. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more company. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Oh, is that going to be me? In the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Oh. Whatever. Aging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. So, question. Can we join these space pirates? I move faster on my own. Ah, uh, what? The space pirates, I want the beacon. Can we join them? Uh, no, and there's the, the reason for that is that they're not exactly space pirates. And this is lame. They're they're not exactly space pirates. Andrew. Lame, lame, lame. No oh, saving content. I don't All think right, I want to go down that way. That seems like a cliff. Don't start me facing a cliff game. I'm gonna walk forward. <laughs> what the hell is this? Ooh. Oh my god. What? You're having way too fun blowing up. 
harmless creatures. <laughs> you renegade asshole. I mean, how do we know they're harmless? We're on a dangerous alien world. Wait, what the fuck are the clicks, quick slots for? Just take all of them. Yeah, I'll put them in here in a bit. We. Where the hell do no, I go? I'm just, I'm just wandering around right now. I always got lost on the internet. Prep. I can't jump. Oh yeah, you can't. <laughs> Zero out of ten. I hate it when games do not give me the ability to jump. Because as really soon as you, it. like, as soon as you take away my ability to jump, the character feels slow and sluggish. There's not really a need to jump. Regardless, platforming would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I hate you. Oh, there goes Jenkins. Jenkins about to get his ass shot. Oh, oh Jenkins, Jenkins are already dead. Die. Um, are you just gonna... Why do I apply a first aid kit and say? It just asked you, it just told you to press F, Andrew. And you know what? The game could be more... What, in your face about the game mechanics? Yes. It said, health low. <laughs> Get behind cover to avoid enemy fire. Press F to attempt first aid. Forget about him. Leave him. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Renegade plus two. Renegade for life. I am the son of a shepherd. We eat our we eat our um, fallen. It was the only way to survive on the planet. I don't think I have a shotgun equipped. What is the um deal with you and cannibalism? What are you Why talking is it so about? appealing to you? It's not appealing. Well, you sure as hell, you know, glorify it. Hold on a second. How do I switch out to my shotgun? I don't know, you're on computer. Oh, good. I can put points and shit? Yeah. There we go. I personally would have done pistols, but, you know. <laughs> pistols are always useful. Increase my health. Upset charm. Charm and intimidate. Charm, intimidate. There we go. There we go. You, I can't. I, I, can I guess? Instead of ranking your main thing. <laughs> exactly. I can't. <laughs> you know, ranking their sentinel gives them extra, like, their, like, your sentinel. Oh, why am I so slow? What the hell? Will you heal Kaiden? <laughs> um, like he's got dead. a barrier. And why am I moving so slowly? I have no idea. Okay, did I hit a button that does that's a map? Okay, so I think, hold on. Okay. That's cool. Let's, uh, oh, it's the codex, okay. P. I'm st Hello, Internet, this is riveting. Mission summary, so J's journal. Why can I not run? Because you're a fat ass, and you choose the wrong dialogue options. Okay. It's gotta be, like, a way to, like, run or something. 
I can't remember what the button for it is in Mass Effect 1. I actually don't know if you can, like, sprint in Mass Effect 1. Jesus, Andrew, do you not know how to not fucking die in three seconds? Nathaniel, shut up. Nathaniel's home? What? You're calling me Nathaniel. Okay. I'm out of I'm out of health packs. Oh, ain't you just fucked? I can't jump. And yeah, I'm. This is sprinting, apparently. Mm -hmm. Oh, upgrade kit. There's the upgrade kit down there. No. Oh. Ashley. Hi, space racist. Space racist? Hello. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Vlad the Impaler. Are these the Reapers? No, those are the Gath. Oh. I was gonna say, the Reapers look less impressive than I thought they would be. No, they're like... kilometer long fucking beasts. Oh, you know, that just sounds lame as shit. Well, everything is lame as shit to you, cause nothing can impress you, right? Not... Nothing's cool true. at all, and everything's something to complain about. No. Nope. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? I need a status report. Now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, mm -hmm. but we walked into an ambush. Can I leave you here? The others. I think I'm the only one left. You abandoned them. You just left the rest of your unit behind to die? We held our position as long as we could. The Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? <laughs> they must have come for the beacon. <laughs> the dig site is close, just over that rise. <laughs> we might still be there. I feel like instead of playing this to some sort of character, you're just doing it for the shock value, and it's gonna wear off really fast. <laughs> and this is already me. this is already boring me. All right, I'll play the character as an inquisitor. Whatever, I guess. Oh, he could the pistol gave you by clicking on the pistol icon. Okay. Uh, oh. Now I'm going to for Ashley. What's she good for? She's a soldier. Soldier, eh? Well, she's gonna get this and this. Followed by this and this. Okay, now I got more things to open up. Whee! Ammo upgrade, they call. Is Omni Gel like our uh, currency? Omni Gel, um. I think lets you make other shit. Hmm. Okay, so like, it was like, here, you have this new stuff. I was like, hmm. Uh, that'd be better for you, yeah. Take that, Kaiden. Will Gaiden ever actually be someone I have to deal with, or is he just here for one mission? If he's part of your crew. He's part of your original crew. Oh, cool. Uh, he's a um, hmm. reoccurring character through all three games. Okay, whatever. Oh, thank you. What? No, I got a shotgun. I gotta get up there and be, you know, just completely. This is the dig site. The 
beacon was right here. It must have been moved. Clearly you failed. Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Hmm. Yeah, saving. And this is actually the perfect uh, time to stop the game. So, I'll see you all next time, Internet, as we continue to go to the research site and do a bunch of nonsense. See you next time, Internet. Goodbye. Bye.